We're about to show you how we design, print, assemble, and install this overhead lighting for our model railroad train track. We're glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. Stick around. Hey, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western, welcoming you to the channel in our video today showing you how we design in Tinkercad, print on the Ender 3, assemble and install this overhead LED track lighting for our model railroad train tracks. We're going to do it right here on the Iron Horse Route today. We do want to encourage you, if you're not a subscriber, to go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell icon for us if you would. Smash that thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment at the end. We're very glad you're here. What we want to do now is move you over to Tinkercad and show you how we designed this overhead track lighting for our model railroad train track. All right, welcome to Tinkercad and the 35 foot in scale overhead track lighting pole. This pole was designed to hide the LED wiring and so the LED head actually glues in here. Then the wire can come from there through this hole down in through this cavity and through this hole right here out the bottom down through the hole you have drilled in your layout so you can get it down to power. We thank you for watching today. Let's show you a little bit about the Ender 3. Welcome back from Tinkercad and then we took it over to the Ender 3 and we printed it. And now we're going to show you the quick and easy four step assembly process. All right, this is a quick and easy assembly process. First thing you do is set this flat on the ground. You want to make sure that the cavity is pointing outward and that the hole is pointing down. Cavity out, hole down. Now, one thing you might want to do is use your X-Acto blade to hollow out this hole to make sure that it is doesn't have any barbs or anything in there because it is a snug fit. The wires will fit through there without you um, cutting into the hole at all. You just need to make sure that it's clean in there. You get that dry, what you're going to do is push through your LED next. And we do need to wait a second and let that dry. Now what you want to do is you want to put your red wire through first. And on the bottom. So from here, I want red guy through first. I like to make sure that I have given myself a little more. Now. This needs to go up top, top, above the red. Let's pull this down a little so we can get Be better off to let yours dry. I don't. I'm not gonna sit here. I got the camera phone, so I'm not gonna wait. Put it on three. Black on top. I want black on top. So it can go on the outside. Pull them on through. 
all the way. Pull the LED all the way. Situate them and get the head of the LED where it's going, even if it, it's going to take a little bit of a bend because and I'm coming down 90. But you want it flat here so you can get some adhesion to the top. Now, you want some glue on the top and in your cab. I'm out of my polish glue. In the cab. You'll like hear that laugh, but get your red one down in there. Now this one actually probably matches the brown better than the black, but so you can do it backwards actually. But if you get brown, but if you get black, you want to do the black one on the outside. Now I'm going to leave mine on the outside black because all my other ones are. Okay. Now, pull your top one. Just some really light touches right there. out this guy's pretty much touching up here anyway but if you'll just kind of help that goes to the outside to accommodate any cord in case it doesn't fit perfectly in there but you don't need much there you go that's how you assemble this light all right and now that we got these guys assembled we need to run some wires and we're going to install seven of these around the turnaround and the turnouts coming into mccarnan's mill we hope you'll join us it's going to be a fun video thank you for being here that's what we're going to do is Pull old McKernan's mill here, get it out of the way. I'm gonna mark the places where the uh, lights are gonna go. Then we got a little work to do. We're gonna have to get some wiring set up, drill some holes so we can make sure that the wiring is hidden to the best of our ability. And so we're gonna start that now. Like I said, to start, we're gonna pull this and we've got some lighting, some wiring issues back here that need to be corrected as well. 
So we'll be pulling this and going into time lapse while we get everything prepared for the lighting and then we'll slow down when we get to the actual lighting installation. Time lapse. All right, everybody, we slowed things down to let you know where we're at. Power has been run around here in six places, as well as a lightning connector here for the diorama. All right, so we'll be able to unplug the diorama with the lightning connector now. We're gonna run six overhead LED lights. Let's see if we get here. We're gonna run six overhead LED lights around this circle. We're going to do it in time lapse, but we're going to slow it down from the other one because we're going to show you more work. We've got to punch a hole through here, get the cord to come down and under and out, which is not always easy. And then we'll get them hooked up. And once we get them all hooked up, we'll slow things down and come back to you with a view with the train running through it and all that good stuff. Time lapse.
This has been Brian with the Iron Horse Route Home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western thanking you for watching our video today. AJ and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch our content. We do want you to check and make sure that you gave us a thumbs up, please. Please leave us a comment below so we know that you were here. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure that bell icon is selected so you know when our next upload is. And we sure would appreciate it if you would share this with the other model and friends you think might enjoy these videos. Last but not least, if you use other social media platforms and are willing to share this there for me, I sure would appreciate it as I don't use other platforms. Thank you very much for watching our video today. This has been Brian and AJ with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. Thanking you for watching our video, thanking you for your time, thanking you for being here, and thanking you in advance for watching our next video. We're glad y'all were here. Take care, everybody.